been swimming since, well, before I can remember really. I started swimming competitively when I was nine. I was selected to be part of the Nottinghamshire Nova Centurion squad when I was 10, and it's just progressed from there. Well, I'll get up at about half past five, and then I'll be at the pool for six, to be in the water for six, and then we'll train six to half seven. And then on the days when we've got dry land, we'll do dry land from half seven to anywhere, half eight. And then I'll, I'll go home, have my breakfast. Then if I'm at school, I'll go to school. And then I'll come back at five o'clock and train five till seven. My brother used to uh, have lessons here. And me and my, while he was swimming, me and my granddad would, would go in the uh, fun pool and just mess around. And Sam would always join us afterwards. And I can always remember running downside and jumping in. It was obviously a good feeling because all the hard work had paid off, but it, it, was, it was different because I, I got so used to like, going to watch him at these big competitions and suddenly I was swimming against him. It's, you know, it's sport and, and we, we both want to achieve our goals. So. It's in the back of my mind, but there's a lot, there's a lot of stepping stones to get there. And of course, got got to qualify first, putting a lot of work in now. So hopefully, I can uh, qualify. And the trials are in March. Yeah, it's in my back. It's in the back of my mind. Well, basically, never give up. You know, no matter if you want it badly, no matter if. People say you can't do it. If you want it badly, you, you will achieve your goals. And I think just work hard and, and always look, look at the end result.